Hello. Sir, we see so many advertisements. All kinds of terms. We can never make out what is correct, what is not correct. How to make out what is the truth in these advertisements? Is it just a gimmick or is there some truth? These questions are asked to us. And I am Dr. Venkat Ram Mysore, Dermatologist and Hair Transplant Surgeon, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar, Banshankari and Kiringham Road, Bangalore. Let me explain this. Hair transplantation has become a commercial field. It's a sad fact which has to be accepted. Lot of players are there, many non-doctors are there, many less than adequate educated people are also there. It has become like a spa business. That is why you see all kinds of advertisements. So let us see some terms which are used in these advertisements. What are these gimmicks? First one, unlimited grafts. Is it possible to put unlimited grafts? See, this is the donor. It has about 12,500 units. This is the bald area. It has about 37,500 units. Can 12,500 units be enough for 37,000? No, it is not. Then, out of this 12,500, we can only take about 40-50% of this. Otherwise, this will become bald. Which means, what is available here is about 5 to 6,000. How will 5 to 6,000 be enough for this much area which had 37,000 units? Impossible. So, there is a limit. It cannot be unlimited. Even if you take from beer, another 1,000, 1,200. Just only if you have good hair. That too, if somebody has hair and then that hair is of less quality. So, unlimited graft is a myth, it is false, it is not to be used. We will give real density. What is real density? The density which the patient had before hair loss. This is number two. Is it possible? Just like I explained, if you have here one sixth of hairs that are available here, how with 6,000 units, you can give the same density for 37,000 units. Normal density is 70 to 80. This area is three times bigger than this area. Impossible. Second reason, if you put 70 to 80 holes in one square centimeter, the skin will tear, it will become pieces, it won't withstand. So, it is not possible. Likewise, somehow if you were to manage a very high density, they will all compete for the same blood supply, same oxygen, same nutrition. They won't get it, half of them will die. That is why what we give is cosmetic density. Density which makes you look to good at and that is about 35 to 40 per square centimeter. You can increase a little bit, 45, 50. If somebody wants more, you should do it in a second session. After these grafts have taken, you know, taken root. This is very important to understand. Unlimited grafts, not possible, number one. Real density, not possible. Cosmetic density, possible. Then, number three, no scar. Is it possible with FUE? Any surgery causes some alteration in the skin. You are taking out 0 0.8, 0 0.9 millimeter of skin. That area heals with a little different texture. Looks a little whitish, like you can see in this photograph. If you leave long hairs, it is covered. But if you shave, you can make out. So whether if you tea or if you eat, you will have a very thin, small scar, either a line or a dot. 
this has to be understood even if you get a pimple you it heals with a little change in color so if somebody says no scar please do not believe particularly if you harvest too much like in the slide that i showed you that is why we take only one in six hairs if you take more it look patchy like you can see in this patient please remember this is number 3 number 4 no drugs just only transplantation now supposing somebody comes in stage 3 or stage 4 hair loss here he has hair here with time he can lose this hair also how do you prevent that hair loss you have to take medicines pia if you don't take medicines you will lose this hair so if you say no drug that means you be ready for a second session third session fourth session keep coming back to us this is the approach of these advertisements so that patient doesn't take drugs scare him that there are side effects and patient keeps coming back now imagine who wants to do 3 4 5 surgeries that is why our approach is do transplantation where the hairs have gone retain the hairs with medicines please understand this you have to get hair new hair by transplanting you have to retain and manage your existing hair with medical approach this is the fact please understand this number 5 stem cells now what are stem cells stem cells are cells which can convert into any other type of cell where are they present they are present in your fat they are present inside the hair they are present in your more marrow it is not available as an injection you can't buy it off shelf you have to prepare it that to under special precautions there are special icmr guidelines for doing so you can't inject stem cells that i am having a vial i will take it from here and put it this is real bakwas one person in mumbai got punished for such advertisements please do not remember stem cell treatment is not perfect cloning is not at available it may come some day this you please understand number 6 robotic transplantation is there a robot for transplantation yes it is called artas it is an american company it does lot of things by itself manual help is also needed by a doctor or a technician but that machine is extremely expensive not just for the machine which is about 3 to 400 thousand dollars also per graft there is a royalty to be paid to the company if you were to convert it to indian rupees the cost per graft with that machine would be about 600 to 800 rupees per graft which means for a 2000 grafts hair transplant 12 to 15 16 lakhs we are charging 50 rupees per graft that itself cost nearly 1 lakh rupees for 2000 grafts in a indian situation is it possible for people to afford that is why that company has not marketed it aggressively in india there may be just one machine somewhere in mumbai most of the advertisements refer to other non robotic machines there are machines for extractions there are machines for making holes but they are not robots so that you have to remember because people will use the term robot as a marketing gimmick please remember this next 100% guarantee is this possible see in any field in medicine for any treatment for any problem for any patient anywhere in the world three factors doctor his knowledge skills 
experience patient patient's characteristics patient's genetic makeup lifestyle smoking underlying disease attitude and the treatment itself if it is a drug if it is a machine if it is a surgery they have their own limitations so the result that you get is a complex interplay of these factors which is variable from patient to patient no two patients are alike what is true for one patient may not work for another some patients get amazing results with one technique another patient may not so because of this giving 100% guarantee is unethical unscientific unsubstantiated unacceptable many many clinics have been punished by courts for this so if somebody asks for it our answer is this is science whatever is the limitation of science that is applicable to you that you must remember then there are couple of terms which are used doctor what is dhi do you do it dhi is a terminology brand used by a particular company they have registered the name it means direct hair implantation what is done here is you extract the grafts by fue put it in implants and implant these two are standard everywhere we all do fue we all use implants it is done immediately with no gap so that the grafts don't lie outside of the body that is called direct hair transplant that also we do only thing is in this case we use the term immediate hair transplantation because i wrote an article on this i argued that there is nothing direct indirect you are doing it immediately you are not letting it wait so it should be called immediate hair transplant likewise another term bio fue bio enhanced fue what are these this is just prp with fue everybody uses prp everybody does a few you give it a different spin on it that is what is done by some people and last 10th marketing gimmick how costing is done some clinics charge per graft for example we say 50 rupees per graft some clinics charge per hair fair enough but please remember on an average one unit or one graft is equal to two follicles or two hairs so the cost per hair should be half of the tough cost per graft if you say 50 per graft it should become 25 per follicle or 25 per hair you say 50 and then you calculate per follicle that's a gimmick that is unethical many times this happens because patients don't understand the difference between a unit or a graft and a hair or a follicle because of that this confusion happens so keep in mind these things today these days patients are very curious they are very savvy so they have access to information and so they generally read and come but despite reading they often fall prey why does it happen one they may not understand what they read it's technical number two they are swayed by gimmicks don't be swayed refer to standard websites association website ishrs has banned some terms no touch to no touch technique unlimited grafts guaranteed results these are all banned they should not be used by doctors that is very important so i hope this video has given you some clarity i hope that you now understand many of these issues i hope you have liked the video if you have please share it visit our website venkatcenter.com follow our youtube channel and if you feel you need to see more videos of this type 
प्लीज लेट अस नो थैंक यू वेरी मच गुड डे नमस्कार